Hello again. This is the vocal technique part of lesson three. Now in lesson one, we talked about tone and how to come to tone from the right direction, from the light side. Ah, and then to ah. And one of the exercises we did was taking our breath and then doing the snake sound. And when you did that, I hope that you felt the pressure building up inside, which is very, very important for you to get the tone because the vocal cords close and resist that pressure. And then in lesson two, I showed you physically about um, how we need to control the diaphragm to, to um, have a nice constant tone and to be able to uh, hold that tone longer. And I demonstrated that for you. Now, in this lesson, I want to go back and talk about chest voice and head voice and then to talk about that area in the middle that we call the mix and to talk about compression, about that feeling that you had when you did the tss using the, li the tongue against the back of the teeth against the alveolar ridge just behind the teeth um, and this time we're going to build, be building that pressure up with our vocal cords and not just with, with the tongue singing in other words okay so remember the chest voice is this voice that I'm talking with hello hello how are you the head voice is that very light part of the voice. Who are you? So we have who, hey, and then at the bottom, hey, hello. So as we go from one to the other, remember I said we lighten up. We go from a heavier muscle coordination to a lighter one. Hello, how are you? Hello. And there was no pushing at all, okay? Remembering, must always remember this, the larynx, this Adam's apple, must stay in a neutral position. And remember how we did that by smelling a flower and it brings the larynx down slightly into that singing position. So, I want you to do this little exercise. Say, hey, hey, nice and light without pushing at all. Now imagine you're in a situation where you're really quite annoyed and you want to say it even louder. Hey! Try that. Hey! Now when you do that, do you feel that pressure building up on that, on that little balloon? Take in your breath. Hey! That is compression. Now, try that up top. Hey! That's very light. There's no pressure there. Hey! Now you're really quite angry. Hey! Hey! So there you've now got compression but that is uncontrolled compression so what we need for singing is a controlled compression so taking a breath hey down low try it up high hey so 
by increasing that pressure in the lungs you get a louder sound and obviously we don't always want a loud sound we want to be able to control that and go between hey, hey, to a louder sound by just gradually squeezing the balloon squeezing uh, down here and at the same time the vocal cords will do their job and resist and the brain and the vocal cords will be working together now let's have a little bit of fun with the voice remember we do not want to force at all let's just test the various qualities that we have in our voice nice and easy this one hello hello how are you hello take a breath hello and then let's go straight to head voice hello Now remember, when you're going up to head voice, you're going from the, the heavy to the light. Come down gradually. Ooh. We're in head voice, remember. Ooh, nice and light. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> and if you have any mucus on the cord, just a little cough, not too heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing rough. Now I'm bringing my head voice down as low as possible. That's in head voice. And I'm actually in my chest register. Head. Chest, same, same note. Let's go down further. It's getting a bit hard to do now. And it's almost going straight into, into chest. Head, chest, it's now between the two. There's chest, definitely in chest now. So play with that. For everybody, it's going to be different. Okay, now I talked about mix earlier. <laughs> Middle C. So I can choose <clears throat> to be light or to bring a little bit of that chesty, that chest, uh... yeah, it's difficult to tell whether it's chest or head there. Play with that heady, fluty, so you can go quite high with, with the head, head quality. No. Down there, there's there's no mix. It's it's chest voice, but in the middle, if you come down with your head voice, um, and bring your head voice down towards your chest voice, that is how to find a good mix. Then the chest voice, you can bring that heavier quality in. Remember, whatever we're doing here, the larynx is staying stable. It's not going shooting up. Okay, when I'm up here. The larynx is quite stable. Oh, now you can see I'm there. I'm getting to that ambiguous middle part. Right, well, we talked about compression, didn't we? All of that that I just did there was very light. I was not putting any heaviness into it. Oh. 
all, that's just so easy to do. Ooh, that's very easy to do. Okay. To get bring that chest quality and that head voice together, I need to do a little bit more supporting. So remember, we're always taking a breath and then um, controlling the out breath. Oh, and if we want it to be louder, we need to squeeze a bit more. Oh, and also opening the mouth slightly. That's I'm coming to my bridge now. Oh, but what you should do is seek to get keep that head voice quality there. Oh, that now I'm in, in going into head voice. Oh, but I can bring some bit of chest quality up and make it a bit heavier. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! head Ooh. squeeze a bit more oh yeah okay play with that you'll be adding a little bit more or less of, of head voice um, to get a mix that you're comfortable with you do not want to be shouting whatever you to do do not force in a in the next lesson, a vocal technique, we'll probably be talking about resonance and how to balance your resonance to get a nice, sweet sounding tone. Okay, so um, I'll see you in the music theory part now. And for vocal technique, see you in the next, uh, in lesson four.